Francis, there is an Englishman waiting for you. His tables are no good. No good at all. He is from the Hudson Bay Company. I gave Lafarge exact measurements. I tabled it will not tilt or list. That is all I ask for, a proper table, but this... We will deal with the table at the proper time. There is a man. He is wanting to... Dissect. No, tilt. You have ruined my refinement. Now what will we do? We don't have money for these refinements, Francis. It is the floor that is tilt, not the table. I advised against greenwood planks, but did you heed my advice? No. Everything here is poor and broken and made wrong. Even this, it is no use. Oh. These are unrefined tables to serve unrefined food for unrefined men. That is our business, Francis. A minute is a minute, and not five. My apologies, my husband and I, we're just... Discussing refinements. Uh, after our room. Aye, too, actually. He is my equal and will be treated as such. I uh, have the other guest to consider. I wish to be civil in all enterprises. But I will not be denied a proper room for my co-equal, Yvonne. Though he can't speak for himself. Aye, he is deadly with that book. I am not his equal in that. My apologies. We were ready to rooms. Thank you. Mathilde Giffard. Hi, Mathilde. I wish to know about her recent guest in your inn. My husband keeps very careful records of all the guests. Well, then, I'm looking for a Mr. Randall Cross. The name is not familiar to me. He was an agent for the Hudson Bay Company. His correspondence indicate that he was a guest at your inn. He describes the food as adequate. Oh, he did have a few words of praise for the prune tart. Exceptional, he wrote. It can be on occasion. We would like to see the room, Mr. Cross stated. Well, first, I must check to see if he was a guest. Francis. Let's take out of this. I, Mr. Cross, was a guest. He stayed in the Rose Suite. He left us some time ago. I just want to make sure before I... I am sure. These men do not have time for games, Francis. <laughs> 